thing. What, is, what do they teach us in Christianity? Duralda, they teach us that we're broken, right? We're sinners. Even when we're born, we're born sinners. We're broken. That's why Psalm 51, we're so 17. thankful for God's grace and forgiveness, right? When we ask for it. Absolutely. Um, even though we don't deserve it. But when we ask for it, he gives it. All right? You're a father. you got three children, 18 to 18, 14, and 7. Yes, sir. All right? got a mama that raised you well. And a God you, you believe in. Absolutely. All right? And all of them are, here's the thing they'll all want. Tell, you're telling the absolute full truth and nothing but the truth, right? Absolutely. So yeah. help you God, right? Absolutely. Sound familiar? We've all heard that, right? Um, and I just have concerns if I fact check that Darrell's not telling me the truth. You don't have a car, so Marcus had to bring you out. You don't own a car, your mom doesn't own a car, right? So Marcus had to bring you out. So why did we find you with a car key in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. I don't even know where they said that was laying on the ground. That's yours. Yeah. It's it's yours. It should have been by my ID. Yeah, it's yours. It's your car key. Okay. Because it goes to a Ford Escape in your mom's name, covered in Wonka shot. Okay. Listen, Darrell. I'm trying to be as open and honest with you as I can be. Christian too, and believe me, I'm not perfect, and neither are you, and I'm not calling you a terrible man, I'm not saying you were out yesterday hunting, and just let me finish, but you did not walk to that house, you did not walk to that house, you did not come here in a tan Kia, you didn't, okay. and who? you did not come out here in a tan Kia, okay, you've got a key in your pocket, to a car, mom's name, okay, and that key works for that car. For the love of God, Marcus, for yourself, for your family, you know what happened yesterday for the people. Tell me what happened. With what? With the car. What am I being With your mom's for? car. You're driving goofy, people call you in. You drove out of there in your mom's car, the red car. You're driving a little silly, probably because you're pissed. You met up with Erica in the car at the park. Now, initially, I believe you told us the gas station. Do I have that right? And then you changed it to the park. So that's an No, I no, said the house was by the gas station. You, when you said, you said what was by You said you went Walmart. and it was by a gas station. That's where you met her. No, 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 no. I said I met her at the park. Okay. Well, creep. You, met her, you, say that. you met her at the park in your mom's car. A red Ford Escape. She got in, you talked, and what you're telling me seems pretty consistent that there was nothing physical between the two of you. No, I didn't. No. But you met her in the car. I didn't put my hands on her. Nothing but like you that. met her in the car. Can, what's going on, man? Asking you a question. Just be, you were out there just driving kind of crazy. crazy. On, Some man. people said you were driving kind of crazy. You got reports of it. You got the key, you got the car. Did you take the car or did your mom give you the car? I know you know what car I'm talking about. I just want to know. <laughs> so, some people now reported this, you know, all those okay, people no, 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 reported that no. car driving a bit erratic. I, I know what you're saying. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We all been straight up with each other. You knew it was more to what you was asking me yesterday. Didn't know that would sure. explain that would explain the FBI and all that, right? They're not here today. So if it's that big a deal, you don't see them here today. Come on. Kurt, we been we been You just met in the car. We've been cool, yeah, man, right. the whole time. If I did something, yeah. if I did something yeah, wrong, that's serious, why they were here. But do you see them here today? They're not here today. Yeah, but but y'all lied to me, man. You made it seem like they just come for no reason. Well, here's the thing, Darrell. And I'm like, what hey, if I if it's today? Listen today for a minute. I can I give you a, I can give I, you a clean slate I, here. I apologize. I apologize because you have lied to us as well. Because you came out here in the Red Ford Escape. Okay, that is. 
came out here and he had the key. All right. So what I want to do is try to give us all a chance to reset. You understand what I'm saying? Start over. Because you're not giving us an accurate story. You didn't ride out with Marcus in a tan car. You said your mom doesn't have a car. I've just told you, we've disproven that. All right? I don't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know what you all been through. But you were seen in the car, driving kind of, driving kind of acting a fool, okay? In basically the same area that you've already been able to describe to me. I'm just trying to figure out how and why it happened. What made you tear out of there? What made you so mad where you're like, fuck it, and you raced on out of there? And then people call, man, this guy, is, he's driving around here kind of fast. All I want to know, like I said, y'all have been cool with me. Am I charged with anything? That's all I want to know. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Right now. I, I'm, listen, I was. You were driving a bit so, reckless. This might be an order so, Listen, listen. No, I don't drink. That, 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 you said that, that, you had a couple cold ones during the game. Nah, yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying the hard alcohol okay. is not my thing. I was not drunk when you get the book. And the video stopped at 1 hour, 38 minutes, 30 seconds. <coughs> Tata, can you explain what was occurring here during this clip? <coughs> Um, so in this clip here, um, my goal and intentions were with Mr. Brooks to start um, getting into the details um, of him driving the Red Ford Escape through the parade route um, and to begin confronting him with information um, about the Ford Escape key that had been found in his pocket. Obviously, to this point, um, Mr. Brooks had told us his mother didn't have a vehicle that she let him use. He didn't know if she had one at all. Um, the vehicle was in his name. Um, sorry, is it his name? I'm sorry, his mother's name, Mrs. Mrs. Woods, Don Woods. Um, it stated he didn't have a vehicle at all. Objection, Lee. Um. The previous objection, it's noted, um, <coughs> it's overruled. The witness may continue. Um, he had made statements earlier in the interview he didn't have a vehicle at all that he had ridden out um, in the Kia, which is not true. Um, the investigation showed Mr. Brooks came out here in the Red Ford Escape by himself, so he was, in fact, in possession of a vehicle. He was, in fact, um, driving a vehicle. Um, in regards to the area, you know, it should be known that Mr. Brooks's description of the park, Frame Park is the park where parade attend, or sorry, I should say people in the parade, wherever they might have been, lined up. Um, they were lining up at Frame Park. Frame Park is a park that has a body of water, as Mr. Brooks described, uh, more specifically the Fox River running through it. So he was able to describe that park. Um, there were people everywhere walking up and down the street, just as he said. Uh, streets were closed off via barricades, via, uh, via marked squad cars, uh, via police tape. Uh, so he was able to describe that, and the way he described the area was exactly almost how the area looked um, with the parade. It was extremely crowded um, due to the people marching in the parade. Um, it was, in fact, shown to be daylight when Mr. Brooks met with Ms. Patterson and then departed from Ms. Patterson. That is something we learned and I was able to confirm that based on how he described it. Um, and, you know, furthermore, you know, he describes and he, he, he gives the impression, Mr. Brooks does that, well, if I was in a domestic, someone would have seen it. Someone would have seen it because there were all the people are there and there were, but it's not necessarily going to be seen as easily as 
Mr. Brooks was trying to lead me to believe because it took place inside of the vehicle. Uh, Mr. Brooks did not walk to the park to meet Ms. Patterson. That was proven a, as evidence in this investigation. Um, he drove there and met up with her in Dawnwood's Red Ford Escape, which is the same vehicle after departing the park, drove along Main Street in Waukesha through the parade route. The key found in the defendant's pocket. Did that operate the Red Ford Escape that was eventually located that was registered to Dawnwood? Objection. That's been answered numerous times. Um, overruled the witness may answer. And there's never any depiction of a key being found <coughs> in the defendant's pocket. The objection is noted. It's overruled the witness may answer. Um, yes, it did. And, um, you know, as we discussed the key more, you can even hear in there that Mr. Brooks acknowledges it should have been near his ID. And was his ID also found in his pocket? Do you know? Objection yes, it was. Um, please wait till I rule on the objection. Sustain this to the form of the question. I'll strike the last answer. Please rephrase. Where was that his ID found? <laughs> in his pocket. And the information you had, where was the key found? Objection leading. <clears throat> Overruled. Objections hearsay. Um, Overruled. What was the answer? The key was found in his pocket. Yeah, I do. You know that. Now, you also talked to Mr. Brooks about his phone. Where did he say his phone was? According to Mr. Brooks, at this point, the phone should have been near him, I believe he said, in the grass. And what did you take that to mean? It should have been near him in the grass. Objection. That was never stated. Um, overruled the witness may answer. I would interpret it as right next to him, where he was arrested. Okay, that's what I was just, where he was arrested? Objection yes. leading. Um, overruled the answer may be given. <laughs> yes. After the defendant met with Erica Patterson, what did he describe his emotion as being? Angry, frustrated over the fact that Ms. Patterson brought him to the park and did not have the money to provide him that she indicated him to him prior to that she would have. Where did he say his flip-flops were? Objection. Answer. Um, overruled the witness may answer. Well, when he indicated that he departed um, Stephanie's house, they were on his feet. However, during the course of his arrest, um, he indicates he doesn't know where they went. So somehow, apparently, they, I, I guess, according to Mr. Brooks, disappeared. Now, the clothes that the defendant's wearing in this video, the, specifically the red shirt, was that a shirt that was provided to him uh, by law enforcement? Objection, hearsay. Overruled, the witness may answer. Uh, no, ma'am, that's the same shirt he was wearing at the time of his arrest. Did he indicate to you during this interview whether or not he had a coat? Objection. So on the video. Um, overruled, the witness may answer. Uh, Mr. Brooks indicated that he did not. And how long did he say he was on the porch with the homeowner whose house he was arrested at? Objection, relevancy. Overruled, the witness may answer. I believe it was like 20 to 30 minutes. The weather that evening, um, was that an appropriate shirt to be wearing for 20